Like my wife and crafting with Kelly. We got another Christmas card to make. So I made one similar to this a few weeks back, but um, this is a little different. This one is called a multi panel pop up mm -hmm. card. So here's the front of it, and there's the back. the inside. It's the profile there. So, and then we're going to make a belly band to go around it instead of an envelope. So I'll put you down here. I'm going to give you all the measurements of all the papers. I have found when I watch tutorials, I love it when somebody gives me all the measurements of the papers right off the bat I can get them all cut out and then follow the tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, let's get you down here. So you need so right here, one piece of 10 by seven. Then you need two pieces of seven by five, so two of those. And then two five by six. One six by two and three quarters. Two, uh, four and five eighths by four. Just double check that. Yep. So two pieces of that. And then two pieces of three and three quarters by two and a half. That's the card base. Now for the matte layer. You need four pieces of six and three quarters by four and three quarters, two pieces of three and three quarters by a half an inch. Two pieces of three and three quarters by two and a half. Four pieces of one and a half by four and three quarters. And two pieces of one and three quarters by two and a half. All right, and then we got some scoring to do. On the 10 by 7, along the 10 side, you're going to score at 2 and a half, 5, and 7 and a half. Then on the the uh, six by five pieces along the six, you're gonna score at one and a half, three, and four. Oh, I just four and a half. Yeah. 
So again, that is one and a half, three, and four and a half. Then on the six by two and three quarters, along the six side, you score at one, three, and five. And then on the two pieces of four and five eighths by four, along the four and five eighths, you're gonna score at half an inch, one and a quarter, and three and seven eighths. So three, one, three, five, seven. That one a little wonky. There we go. Okay, so again, it's half an inch, one and a quarter, and three and seven eighths. One, three, five, seven. Then right back okay sorry about that I didn't realize I had forgotten so you also need two pieces of two and a quarter by six and three quarters sorry if you hear airplanes in the background it's so quiet in my house right now that and we live right at the other end of the runway, so. Dorothy made one of these cards yesterday. Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. She did an amazing job on it. I wish I had taken a picture. Maybe what I'll do is I'll phone her and if she hasn't mailed it out yet um, to the person she was making it for. I will ask her to send me a picture and it'll insert it. We'll see if she's got that available. All right. So now we're going to fold and burnish all of these pieces.
There we go. So now we have to put our mats and layers on these pieces. I'm just gonna grab and start here. So this little, these two little strips here. Right on here. Okay, I'm going to get all these layers on and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have all the layers on. The first one we're going to do is one of these pieces. Fold it in half. We're going to put glue on this side and this side. Now for these pieces, I would use liquid glue because rather than the double-sided tape because you've got some wiggle space. You're gonna butt this edge right up to your score mark here and also try and have about as much at the top and the bottom as, as you know, the same. Okay, about there and then just close it up. And when you open it, it's gonna look like that. So we're gonna do this side now. Fold it in half. Okay. Again, you're going to Butt it right up to that score mark. Try and get it about the same as what you've got on the other side. And then close your card up on it. And there you go hasn't quite grabbed so let's just do this for a second longer
sure it's grabbing right here. Try and get a little more glue in there. All right, let's get the next layer. So this one is going to go right here. Okay. So I'm gonna put this one here and this one here. And we're going to put this one here. Close this up like this, and it should, oh, I dropped it. Get it over here. Right, like that. Okay, I'll just close this up again. the other one and close it up at the same time here. There we go. Just gotta give that glue time to grab. And it's going to look like that. The glue's not quite grabbing yet, so I'm gonna do this top one and close it up all together. So the top one's gonna go like this.
just like that. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. I'm going to let the glue dry for a little bit and I'll bring you back and we're going to decorate. All right, let's get decorating. So I cut this out of a piece of paper. And I'm going to melt that there. filled my glue bottle up so hopefully it won't <laughs> take as long now okay we'll put that there this card is all kitty and doggy themed the back part. This is what I cut out for that one. And then I just stamped there. like that for decorating. That and that goes for the belly band. All right. That was there. This says Mary Woofmas. two-year-old grandson when you ask him what a doggy says he does not say rough rough he says because they pant <laughs> oh, it's so funny listening to him Just a few more weeks and I'm going to have some bigger projects. I'm going to make a new um, table centerpiece. I'm just waiting for December to make the bigger projects, not cards. Okay, we got that there. And then on this side, I got a little doggy house. Little doggy. I'll close this all up and the glue will get to tack down better. That there. That there. And then I've got Santa. Pause. There we go. And then here I'm just going to put a couple trees. And while we let this glue dry, we'll make a belly band. Close this up and we'll let the glue dry. I'm just going to set it underneath this box. All right, 
So I'll use this card to show you how to make the belly band. So you want a strip of paper. You can have it as wide as you want it, but I this is out of a strip where there a page where there's a bunch of strips. Um, this is one and a quarter inches, and it's 12 inches long because it's one of the long strips. You don't need to score it or anything. You just take your your strip and wrap it around your card because you don't want it too, too tight because it's got to be able to slide on and off. You just squish it down a little bit there. So if I hold that, that's going to slide up and down. So then you're going to glue that right here. Put that down. Okay, I'm just going to slide that off. And then you want some sort of centerpiece to go on to this. So I cut this out and I stamped this. So I'm going to glue this here and glue that there. Or there. Or somewhere. <laughs> so let's There we go. And that's all there is to making a belly band. And if you have a larger card, you can put two of these strips together. You could make a box envelope instead of the belly band. Um, there's even a um, puffy type envelope we can make if we needed to make one of them. And there we go. Okay, so once all this glue is dry, I'll bring you back and show you the finished result. All right, all the glue's dry, card is finished. Here's the front, here's the back, and there's the inside, and then for the belly band, and you turn it around this way, you just slip it over your card. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining me again. Oh, my hair. Thanks for joining me again on another Crafting with Kelly. If you make one of the things that I've shown you to make, please find me on Facebook. Link is in the description. And be sure to send me a picture. I love to see your projects. All right. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.